In this video, we will try to understand how to find out angular velocity and angular acceleration of connecting rod. In the previous video, previous video we have seen how to find out the velocity, displacement, velocity, acceleration of piston. Now, as we have seen earlier, if the crank it moves from the IDC position, then as you can see over here, there is a displacement of the piston from inner dead center towards the outer dead center. Now the angle that is made the angle that is made by this connecting rod is known as the angle of obliquity that is phi. And using this we have to find out what is the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the connecting rod. Now as we have seen earlier, this x is the displacement of the piston and in the right angle triangles OQC and PQC we have seen that sin theta is equal to QC upon R therefore QC is equal to R sin theta. So this is the right angle triangle that we are considering over here. So in this particular case the sin theta is opposite side divided by the hypotenuse that is OC. So OC is the hypotenuse. So QC is equal to OC is nothing but R so it is R sin theta. Similarly if you consider this right angle triangle that is P, Q and C in this particular case sin phi is equal to opposite side that is again QC divided by the hypotenuse that is nothing but PC that is A. So as the both these equations the left hand side is representing the same thing that is QC we can equate the right hand side of these two equations so we can say that L sin phi has to be equal to R sin theta. In other words we can say that sin phi is equal to R sin theta upon L and it can be written as sin theta divided by L upon R and this L upon R is known as the obliquity ratio that is N. So this we have already studied, this we have already seen in our previous part when we have derived the equations for displacement, velocity and acceleration of piston. Now let us see using this particular expression that is sin phi is equal to sin theta upon L how we can find out the value of angular velocity of the connecting rod and angular acceleration of the connecting rod. Now let us start with the expression that we have just now seen. So we have seen that sin phi is nothing but sin theta upon n. L upon r is known as the obliquity ratio. Now differentiate this equation with respect to t. So derivative of sin phi with respect to t and derivative of sin theta with respect to t that we have written over here. So derivative of sin phi is cos phi d phi by dt and derivative of sin theta is cos theta d theta by dt. Now as this particular phi is nothing but the angle of inclination of the connecting rod pc it represents omega pc and theta is nothing but the angle of crank angle and therefore d theta by dt is nothing but omega that is angular velocity of the crank. Now our aim is to find out omega pc so we can rearrange the terms like this so it is omega upon n cos theta divided by cos phi. Now let us call this as equation A. Now we know that sin square plus cos square is 1 so we can say that cos square is equal to 1 minus sin square or cos phi is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square phi. 
now we can substitute this value in equation a so equation a is omega by n cos theta upon cos phi where cos phi is square root of 1 minus sin square phi so it is square root of 1 minus now in place of sin phi we can substitute sin theta upon n so sin square phi is sin square theta upon n square so sin phi is sin theta upon n that value we have substituted so omega pc is equal to omega upon n now just simplify further so it is cos theta divided by square root of n square minus sin square theta divided by n square so this can be written as root of n square minus sin square theta in the numerator as it is divided by square root of n square is n in the denominator so we can write down the, this expression as omega by n this n will go in the numerator so it is n cos theta divided by square root of n square minus sin square theta now let us cancel out this n from the numerator as well as denominator so we are now getting the expression for omega pc that is angular velocity of connecting rod so it is omega cos theta divided by square root of n square minus sin square theta now n square is very large as compared to the value of sin square theta so we can neglect that particular term from the denominator so it is only root n square that will remain in the denominator so modified form of this particular equation is omega cos theta divided by n now let us derive the expression for angular acceleration of connecting rod so we know that angular acceleration is a rate of change of angular velocity so that we have shown over here so this d by dt of omega pc this d by dt of omega pc can be written as d omega pc upon d theta into d theta by dt and we know that d theta by dt is omega so let us call this as equation b over here so our first job is to find out the value of d omega pc by d theta so differentiate the earlier equation that we have derived of omega pc with respect to theta omega is constant so keep it as it is so it is derivative of cos theta divided by square root of n square minus sin square theta so here we we'll have to use the quotient rule of derivative that is u upon v rule so this omega as it is v that is denominator term as it is that is derivative of u that is cos theta minus cos theta as it is derivative of square root of n square minus sin square theta whole divided by v square that is the term which is present in the denominator and square of that so it is square of n square minus sin square theta the whole square So this is equal to 
omega as it is root of n square minus sin square theta as it is derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta cos theta as it is now derivative of root x is 1 upon 2 root x so that formula we have used over here so derivative of root of n square minus sin square theta is 1 upon 2 root of n square minus sin square theta and again by chain rule it is the derivative of n square minus sin square theta now in the denominator this root and square will get cancelled out so it is only n square minus sin square theta so the first terms as it is derivative of n square is 0 because it is a constant and derivative of sin square theta is 2 sin theta cos theta and denominator as it is now cancel out these two so this minus minus will become plus so it is sin theta and cos into cos that is cos square theta divided by square root of n square minus sin square theta whole divided by n square minus sin square theta now take sin theta common from the numerator so it is minus of n square minus sin square theta and we have taken n square minus sin square theta root of n square minus sin square theta as the lcm also so root of n square minus sin square into root of n square minus sin square that is n square minus sin square theta whole divided by n square minus sin square theta now take this negative sign inside in the numerator so it is omega sin theta as it is so this is minus into bracket n square minus sin square theta plus cos square theta now this root term that will go in the denominator so it is n square minus sin square theta into square root of n square minus sin square theta now we'll take this minus sign inside so it is equal to omega sin theta so this is minus n square plus sin square theta plus cos square theta whole divided by now n square minus sin square into square root term so it is n square minus sin square theta raised to 3 by 2 Now sin square plus cos square is 1 in the numerator. So we can write down this as 1 minus n square and denominator as it is. Now substitute this value in equation B. So from equation B we can say that alpha PC is d omega PC by d theta into omega. So substitute the value of d omega pc by d theta and multiply it by omega. So omega into omega that is omega square and take minus sign also common from the numerator. So n square minus 1 it will be there in the numerator. So this is the expression for the angular acceleration of the connecting rod. Now Again, as n square is large as compared to that of sin square theta, we can neglect that particular term from the denominator. So alpha pc can be written as minus omega square sin theta. As we have neglected sin square theta, it is only n square raised to 3 by 2 and cancel out the 2 also. So ultimately, we are having n cube that is remaining in the denominator. So this is the expression. 
modified form of the expression of the angular acceleration of the connecting rod 